एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम observe the video of an operator which is played behind me and in this uh, video you will observe that the operator is performing the sawing operation the sawing operation basically is to cut the extra material from the surface and while performing this operation the operator may feel fatigue uh, because the operator is performing that operation with the help of his hands or he is performing manually so in order to overcome his fatigue for the large volume production we would use the power tools want to know more about the power tools watch the video till the end hello everyone i am anmol bhatia and welcome to s chand academy in this video you will be learning about the power tools for detailed conceptual clarity you can refer to the book by s chand publishing the link of the book is there in the description box below so we'll start with the topic which is power tools and this is part 1 of the video this power tool is a topic of the course manufacturing practices so first firstly let us understand what is a power tool so power tools are those tools which are driven by the means of power and what do you mean by power it is basically driven by the help of electric currents they are called as power tools now there is certain category of the power tools namely the power hacksaw a circular saw a drilling machine and a grinding machine so in this part of the video we'll be learning about power hacksaw and in the second part of the video we'll be learning about the other uh, tools which are available so firstly we'll understand about the power hacksaw so in the initial part of the video i have shown you the sawing operation in which the operator was performing that operation with the help of his hands now here in this part of uh, the power tool what is there in this type of hacksaw this basically is driven by the electric motor and when we drive that hacksaw with the help of electric motor we name it as a power hacksaw power hacksaw is generally a stationary machine but to a some uh, models it can be a portable type of setup also and it is used to cut the metal at the required shape by the means of hacksaw which is driven by the electric motor as i have told you now let us uh, look at the operation of the same in the operation what happens when the uh saw is moved in the forward direction so what happens the cutting action takes place and when the saw moves in the backward direction so there is no cutting action that is being taking place so the forward stroke is basically called as the cutting stroke and the backward stroke is idle stroke so no cutting action is there in the backward stroke but in the forward stroke there is a cutting action the work piece which we want to cut that is being placed in between the two ends of the machine wise so the components which are there in the power hacksaw are basically it has a vertical column with gears and the power button which is installed then second is the hacksaw which is used to cut the material third is the coolant that we will be supplying for uh, the cutting operation fourth is the base of that machine fifth is the machine wise on which we'll keep our object which we want to cut and in in terms of any emergency so we have an emergency switch which is foot operated and it is also there as a part of the component of this power hacksaw machine now let us come to the diagrammatic presentation of the power hacksaw in this i have told you that it has an on off button in which the internal mechanism is there so i'll be coming into the internal mechanism in few minutes now that internal mechanism is responsible to drive this hacksaw blade and this hacksaw blade moves in the forward and the backward direction so in the forward direction i have told you that there is a cutting which is being taking place and the material that we want to cut is placed in between this wise 
Additionally, the coolant is supplied with the help of this pipe that is called as a coolant feed and there is a handle which is used to move the table uh, back and forth or up and down. Then what happens? There is an arm on which this hacksaw blade is attached. So these are the basic components of a power hacksaw machine. Now let us come to the operation or you can say the mechanism which is used to drive the blade of this power hacksaw. So in this mechanism you will see that there are two pulleys and these two pulleys are connected to each other with the help of a belt. Now one part of this pulley is attached to the motor. So the power is being supplied to the pulley with the help of the motor the pulley rotates and this power is transmitted to the second pulley. Now one link of this hexa blade is connected to the pulley so that this rotary motion is converted into the reciprocatory motion of the blade of the hexa. So in this you can see whenever the power is supplied to the motor then there is a spindle which is attached to the motor that rotates these pulleys and ultimately these pulleys would transmit the power with the help of these belts and the belt is installed in between the two pulleys and what happens one link of this hexa blade is connected to the pulley so that the rotary motion is converted into the linear or the reciprocatory motion of this hexa blade and ultimately the cutting action would take place because we will be keeping the object here. So with this we come to the end of the first part of the video wherein we learnt about the power tools and the first type of power tools that we learnt was the power hexa. In the second part of the video we will be learning about the other power tools. For detailed conceptual clarity you can refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. If you find the video interesting, like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.